this is a response to a comment this morning, but also it's to sort of say, look, we have a little bit of etiquette on our channel. Um, the first thing is, if you want to comment, comment something of note, something of value, something of interest. Um, sending abusive comments and swearing, it says, they just get deleted. They, they don't even get read 90% of the time. Um, purely because as soon as I see the F this or F that, it's just deleted. I don't even read it. Um, but this morning somebody sent me one, and this is a prime example of why I would say put a bit of effort into it. If you, if you want to get into a disputed argument, for example, we're talking about the election stuff at the moment, there's different viewpoints because some people are anti-socialist, anti-communist, pro this, pro Philippines change, etc. So there's a nice debate going on there. There isn't a lot of swearing and targeting each other. But when I get a message this morning, uh, this, this is an example, where somebody starts off like, you don't know what the, you're talking about relating to uh, Zambonga. Um, because he spent one month there with his girlfriend. Um, and this is relating to kidnappings. Now, if he'd even read the comment section within that own article, there's actually somebody discussing other kidnappings in the same town he was staying in. Um, so, I do know what I'm talking about. I, I know you stayed there for one month and you've got this expert opinion and everything else. You are the expert on that because you've been there for one month. I only spent eight years in the Philippines. What do I know? Um, but I would say just get Google out. Just get Google out and just, just sit down. Tap in Zambonga. Kidnappings. And you will find that they happen nearly every couple of months. Because they don't just kidnap foreigners. They kidnap local business people. They kidnap politicians. They kidnap all sorts of people because it's for ransom. So you don't have to take my word for it. There is always Google. And that's all I'm saying. So if you do comment, be aware. You can always use Google and come back with some facts. If I'm incorrect, because somebody correct me the other day relating to driving licenses because some of the information's changed. But I also went back to the website on LTO today, and funny enough, it hasn't been updated. It's still the same as it was when I went to the Philippines, which makes me question, is it a regional thing? Is it an office thing? I'm not sure because they haven't updated the information relating to how to get a driving license. Um, so if anybody's been to LTO in the last month, please update the driving license information site if you need to be a resident or whatever, um, just to confirm it, because obviously something's changed. And I wouldn't know even if I was in the Philippines, because I just renew my license, I wouldn't be getting a new one, they just update it. So it needs to be somebody that's just got a Philippines driving license recently. Uh, maybe Chris Wren, because I think Chris Wren just got a new driving license, so maybe he can fill that in for us. Anyway, thanks for watching. And like I said, well, I'm not after positive or negative comments. I'm after constructive comments. They don't have to be positive or negative. They just need to be constructive. If you've got something, put it in there. In the same thing, if you've got a question, ask a question. But having a rant, email yourself. I don't need to see it. <laughs> thanks for watching. Yeah.